What are you supposed to do when you don't want to commit to purchasing a car, but you also still want to make a sound financial decision? Well, the decision really comes down to two things, whether you are looking for a long-term rental or a short-term lease, which is the best option for you. The answer can be a lot trickier than you would think, and it really comes down to the details here. That's why we are going to give you some of the biggest pros and cons when it comes to renting versus leasing a vehicle, and which one may benefit you the most. Stay tuned all the way through to the end too, as we are saving some of the biggest advantages and drawbacks for the end. Pro for renting, you don't need as many credentials. One thing that is really nice about renting is that it requires a lot less paperwork, and the credentials required are also a lot less strict too. For leasing a car, you need to have a pretty decent credit score, a driver's license, and proof of insurance as well as proof of sufficient income. This is a whole lot of stuff and really does make for a bigger commitment as well. When you rent a car, you only need to have a credit card, a driver's license, and a clean enough driving record. If you have a spotty record, you will still probably be able to rent, but the insurance rate you get is probably going to be quite a bit steeper. Ultimately, renting is nice because you could probably grab your wallet and do it right now without much thought, and it's a lot simpler of a process. If the ease of access means anything to you, then taking a long-term rental may be the choice for you. Pro for leasing. It's good if you want a car for a handful of years. Leasing is a great option if you are looking to own a car for a handful of years. And most economists say that leasing from anywhere between two and four years gives you the best rate. Leasing for any more time than that is a bit of a different story, however. And once you get over four years, you are probably better starting a new lease or trying something different instead. Leasing is good for long stretches of time because it is all agreed to beforehand, which is a very valuable thing. Since you already know how long you have the car, you save yourself any price hikes or unexpected payments that renting can sometimes come with. Leasing is great for consistency and can be a really smart, intermediate decision between renting and flat-out purchasing a vehicle. Con for renting. It's not nearly as trustworthy. Probably the best way to think about renting is that it is a month-to-month -month contract, meaning every month you have to revisit that contract and agree to the terms. The problem here for you, the consumer, is that you have more in the game than the seller, especially if they are a large-scale operation. You see, suddenly getting your means of transportation can be pretty difficult, and so you have a lot less power to disagree than back out, and doing so will probably require you to double up on payments at least for one month. This makes rentals a bit trickier, as there's a bigger chance you end up getting screwed out of some money. If you're looking to stick with one vehicle for the long haul and need something you rely on, you are best off going with a lease instead in that situation. Con for leasing, they're hard to get out of. Freedom is super important for us, and it allows us to be able to take opportunities or capture moments we may otherwise miss. Freedom is beneficial for the quality of our lives as much as it is good for the quality of our bank accounts, as it can save you a lot of money at times. As it can save you a lot of money at times. One major issue about leasing is that they tend to be very binding. While a rental agreement suffers from how flimsy it is, a leasing agreement can sometimes suffer from how you can't just shake it. Life is a pretty unpredictable thing, no matter how much we try to plant our feet in the ground and be unmoved by it. When life happens, and it has a habit of doing that, you don't want to be paying for a leasing agreement along with whatever else just because you couldn't get out of a contract. Dragging around that extra payment can really be a hit, and it isn't one you ever want to have to take as it can be pretty annoying. If you agree to a lease for a set amount of time, make sure that you are as sure as you can be that you can get the most out of it, and just in case. Make sure that you read the contract carefully so you know exactly what you are locking yourself into. Pro for renting. You almost never have to pay for maintenance or insurance. We'll get to that in a second. I have a favor to ask of you. If you like this video so far, please subscribe to the channel. When it comes to owning a car or any length of time, you are going to eventually run into further costs. Maintenance on your car can be a pretty expensive thing too depending on the make and model of your vehicle, and in some cases, you could be paying thousands of dollars when you pull into the repair shop. That's why rentals are so great, because you get to completely avoid this issue, unlock with a lease. Rentals are terrific because you may not even have to purchase insurance with it either, as it sometimes comes 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 complementarity with your rental or at a very low rate. Rentals are a great option if you're trying to quickly gain access to a car and don't want to spend any more money on it. 
While you may have to worry about a month-to-month -month contract, if you're just looking for a vehicle for a month or less, rentals have a tremendous amount of value and are super easy to acquire. Pro for leasing, you may be able to buy out your lease. A really cool thing that a lot of dealerships offer is the ability to buy out your lease when you're done with it. This essentially means that if you really enjoyed your time with the car, instead of renewing it, you can negotiate to flat out buy it. Buying out your lease is generally a good idea if you're looking to settle down with a carry long term, and most dealerships will give you a more than fair price leading into the buying process. The greatest part of this option is that it is just that, an option. And you can also choose to walk at any time before your lease ends, or if you aren't given a fair price. These kinds of options are great because they give you a lot of power and flexibility as a customer. And it's also nice when you're able to get yourself one. Con for renting, you may end up paying more month to month. The sad reality of renting is that what you make up for in flexibility, you sort of lose in a little bit of cash. In the long run, you may still feel like it's the right choice but it's probably best to look at this fact in the eyes before you ever look at renting. You're much more likely to get a fair rate, provided your credit is at least average through leasing than you are through seeking out a rental, and you're going to have to be okay with that in order to give this option a chance. Con for leasing. Lease cars have a mileage limit. Miles or kilometers, depending on where in the world you live, can rack up really quickly when it comes to cars. If you are a person that drives a lot or who plans on doing a bit of traveling with your leased car, you may want to think twice about those plans. Leased cars almost always come with a millage limit, which can vary depending on how much your lease is set to go for. These limits are always talked about and agreed while signing the lease, and so it's not like they come out of nowhere. But still, most people don't really calculate their plan mileage before going about things. If you end up going over the agreed limit, the penalty that you face can be expensive and will only continue to climb as you go higher and higher over the limit. Pro for renting, it's perfect for a test drive. If you think of a rental as a preview of the true driving experience, then rentals are the perfect way to figure out how good of a fit a car is for your lifestyle. Sure, a test drive around the block at the dealership is nice, but the reality of what a car will be like isn't truly felt until you're steering out of the driveway with a cup of coffee and rentals will really let you know what a car is going to be like. Rentals are also great for choosing a car and can even be a good change of pace from your regular vehicle as well. Pro for leasing, you get a much wider selection. If you really want to get a look at what today's automotive industry has to offer, then you may be better off going the leasing route if we are being honest. Dealerships are very much willing to lease some top-of-the-line cars for relatively cheap as a way to get them off the lot for a while. And you may be able to have a really nice car in your possession because of a lease. This is a great option if you work in a position that requires that you keep a certain kind of status as you can easily get luxury and exotic vehicles leased on your name for a surprisingly little amount of money and commitment. If you go this route though, be warned that there are also plenty of leases on exotic cars that contain tricky or exploitative clauses trying to take advantage of its reputation and so be careful to read everything over before signing to something. Do you prefer leasing or renting? Let us know your thoughts down in the comments section. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on it if you haven't already. And now would be an excellent time to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already.